Hi everyone, it is December 27, 2018. I just got this from a subscriber in Chico, California. I'm going to read it. It really reminded me of what my subscriber was going through with FEMA when her home was flooded by Harvey. Well, not by Harvey. Actually, it was by the Army Corps of Engineers releasing those reservoirs that flooded out tens of thousands of homes in Houston. They would not have been flooded, not by the rains that were held in place over Houston. It was by the Army Corps of Engineers. And if you look into it, you will see that the Army Corps of Engineers has flooded many properties for a very long time. So, if you face disaster, don't count on FEMA to be there to help you. They will frustrate you. They will make your life more of a nightmare and they will not give you what you need. So this was written by a man who, well, I guess the title of this posting is Thanks for Nothing, FEMA. After jumping through many hoops and being given the key to a FEMA trailer, only to have it immediately taken away, Rick Caspery, I'm sorry if I've pronounced the name wrong, is fed up. So this is what he wrote on Facebook. Well, it's official. FEMA will not help me after I have wasted, by my choice, every bit of time and money I had for promises made by you, FEMA, to do what you said you needed me to produce to prove we lived in my home during the time of the campfire. How many of you have been flooded and then were put through just an utter nightmare, having to prove everything to FEMA, and then you don't get what you think you're going to get based on what they tell you? What FEMA tells you, and please understand this, when we talk about our federal agencies, we are talking about people, human beings, who work for these federal agencies. So very often, I will hear people claim that it's law enforcement and military. The order followers... Everyone is an order follower. The people who work for FEMA are order followers. They are the ones who create the nightmare that you begin to experience with FEMA. So when we just say FEMA, it's kind of like this, well, it's an institution without a face. No, it has faces. It has people who are collecting paychecks to do the most immoral things. And it's really pissing me off that there's an awful lot of people who are not getting the connection between what we do and the nightmare we create. So, he goes on. Um, so what you what FEMA told him to do to produce all of these documents to prove that he lived in a home that was destroyed by the campfire. Because I live off the grid and didn't use PG and E. What is for some reason the only way you would help us? Ah, FEMA, corporations tied together. Um, you asked for a notarized letter from my neighbor, so I asked my neighbor if he would come all the way down from Oregon to write this letter and have it notarized. Then you wanted a bill of sale for my trailer to prove I owned it on my land, so I got a hold of the man I bought it from, and he agreed to write a new bill of sale for me and have it notarized. Even though you asked for that, it wasn't good enough. So then you wanted the local sheriff to write a letter 
on my behalf, stating where I live. He faxed that letter directly to you. That wasn't good enough. Then you gave then you give me a trailer all the way out at Rolling Hills Casino and have me drive all the way out there where I filled out all of the paperwork. You gave me the keys and before I made it back to Oroville, you called me and told me I have to give it back to you knowing my girlfriend and her two babies and I are living in my car because I didn't have PG&E and a bill to show my address on it. You denied me, although I did everything you asked of me. Why would you have me ask my friends, family, local sheriff to waste their time doing things you knew were not acceptable? I had no idea they were not acceptable, but FEMA, you did. So here we sit living in our car. Merry Christmas to you, FEMA. I guess it's easy to sit behind a desk and have somebody do these tasks for no reason when you haven't lost everything in your life. No wonder we are always at war. Nobody wants to be friends with a bunch of liars. The lie, guys. It's the lie that causes the nightmare. So sick of it. So, I've heard uh, similar stories from other subscribers, or should I say subscribers, um, the hell that they were put through. And no, never did they get restored or the help that they needed from FEMA. It's all deliberate. They will not make you whole no matter how much you pay in taxes, our government is there to protect itself, to rip you off, to be uh, just more and more profitable. Federal agencies are corporations, and they work to make a profit. And I wish people would just do a little bit of research to find out. But here, another post that I was sent by that subscriber. Amazing. Amazing. Here. So, despite a grand jury report calling for wider evacuation routes, Paradise Town leaders did the opposite and reduced travel lanes on a key evacuation route. A Butte County Fire Safe Council brochure explaining evacuation routes also recommended people living along those routes to shelter in place. In 2008, a wildfire near Paradise destroyed hundreds of homes and caught thousands of residents in snarled traffic trying to evacuate. That was in 2008, 10 years ago. A grand jury report following the fire recommended improving evacuation routes so it wouldn't take people fleeing a fire three hours to get out of harm's way. Around the same time, the grand jury report was issued. The council members in the town of Paradise began studying renovations to Skyway Road and began considering traffic calming methods, which um, the calming methods are like speed bumps. Uh, consultants even acknowledged it would impact the use of Skyway as an evacuation route. In 2014, four years ago, the town removed one lane of traffic in each direction, added parking and bike lanes, Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, as well as curbs which jut out at intersections. The Butte County Fire Safe Council created a brochure explaining how drivers could use center turning lanes in emergencies, but the brochure stated residents who live along a one-way evacuation route that is being used are encouraged to shelter in place at your home. People fleeing the fire on various 
evacuation routes describing being stuck in gridlock. The mayor of Paradise, who was vice mayor at that time, the decision was made to reduce lanes on Skyway Road, did not respond to questions from KCRA, I guess a, a news station there. Um, all right, well, she's now the mayor, and people should be throwing her out of office. In 28, 2008, the, the town council went against a recommendation for quicker evacuation. And that was after a fire. And apparently that fire had destroyed hundreds of homes. So it went against the recommendation, made it harder for people to evacuate, but guys, you allowed it. You allowed it. it you, you should have been screaming then. And are any of these people still on that town council? Why are we allowing it? And I don't say that, you know, to upset anyone. But in 2008 and then 2014, it was known that your town council was implementing a danger to all of you. A danger. And 2018, you got to see the danger. You got to experience it. We need to really take matters into our own hands. Because these town council people all over the country are a danger to you. What are some of the comments? I was never in a traffic jam in paradise until they did that stupid move. It's not a stupid move. It is an incredibly dangerous move that has proven itself to be dangerous. Look at what has manifested. Of course, there were many factors that went into the terrible campfire tragedy, but the point is that by narrowing passageways in paradise after being told by a grand jury to widen the roads was terribly irresponsible? No, it wasn't irresponsible. It was unbelievable. But it was immoral. And it, it absolutely put you in danger. And it was obvious because they were not following the recommendation. They were following the dictates of Moonbeam and the United Nations to do that reshaping under the umbrella of Agenda 21-2030. It's stunning that city planners are capable of that kind of stupidity. It's not stupidity. We really do have to be very clear about what is taking place and to call things for what they are. It's not stupid. It's, it's an act. It's a deliberate act to destroy you, to destroy you, destroy you. Um, the city planners in Chico are just as bad. Well, I think everybody in Chico need to go to their city planners and to find out what's going on. By no means am I a fan of PG and E, but the lion's share of the blame of this tragedy should be placed on the heads of the Paradise City Council with their decisions not to cut trees, not to make clear def 
defensible space around the power poles. This, I'm sorry, Steve, but you're needing to look uh, more deeply into what is taking place here. You're at war, Steve. They use many methods to create these fires and to destroy homes, level them to dust. It is not about clearing space and cutting trees. It is about those who are waging war upon you in your area. You cut the trees, you clear de defensible space, they're still going to burn you up. Just imagine what would have happened if they had a traffic circle on Skyway. You know, you read these comments, and this goes on after every disaster. People getting screwed left and right. How long are we going to allow them to screw us? We need to stand together, united, to get these people out of their positions. You have the power to do that. You just have to uh, change your psyche and recognize that these power people are not doing their job they are not representing you. These are evil people. They're not bird brains. They're not stupid. But this one post I need to read. People, I want to know as to the people of paradise why there was spooks why there were spooks, FBI, Homeland Security, uh, the second day after the fire. It certainly wasn't because Trump was coming two weeks later. This is what you need to be asking the government. This is not a conspiracy theory. Some of us were up there two days after the fire. The second day uh, the fire started. I'm sorry, the second day the fire started. They were crawling all over Paradise, investigating something other than PG&E. We want true answers. Media blackout was requested by Homeland Security to all TV nations. Stations, Jesus. Um, yeah, Americans, you really need to get more involved in what is taking place in your community. And if you don't, who then is to blame for your destruction. Poor town planning? That wasn't poor town planning. That was evil town planning. Evil. And the only way to fight evil is to stand up to it, face it, remove it. I will link below to both of these posts. I hope that you circulate this information because you know what? Disaster's coming. What, who, who, who next? Who's next? Are you next? Are you the next one to have your home destroyed, your life destroyed, and then fall into that nightmare where you're not getting the help that you need to restore your life. You know, once you have this experience, you really get to know. Now, my life wasn't destroyed by disaster, but I've heard from so many who have had this experience. But we are allowing it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we do have a lot of Americans who uh, want to believe what they want to believe. You can't get through to them. And they also are helping our federal agencies. They're helping 
the corporations destroy us. I hate it. The numbers being destroyed are increasing daily. The links are below.